Olympics Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. With highs today only in the upper single digits to lower teens, temperatures were running a good 20 to almost 25 degrees below normal for this time of year. And although we are going to warm up a little bit here the next several days, overall temperatures are going to stay below normal for the rest of February and early March. I'm expecting lower to mid 20s tomorrow, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. And then on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, even colder weather moves back in with highs only in the single digits to around 10 degrees. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now across Northeast Wisconsin. It is currently nine degrees in Sturgeon Bay. We've got eight in Oshkosh and we're looking at eight degrees in Fond du Lac. Once again, in Appleton, you can see that College Avenue is snow covered and slippery. Traffic is moving very slowly tonight. It is seven degrees as light snow continues to fall. You can see light snow here in Green Bay. The visibility is down to around a mile and a half to two miles. The temperature is 10 degrees with northeast winds at around five to 10 miles per hour. Storm Shield radar shows a large area of light to moderate snow covering most of the viewing area right now. Well to the north and east of Green Bay, it's mainly flurries and some patchy light snow, but snow will fill in later on this evening. You can see the snow extends back to the north and west. It'll be mainly light snow throughout the night, but there will be some bursts of moderate to heavy snow from time to time, especially later on tonight into tomorrow morning. And we could see just a little bit of lake enhancement or some lake effect snow as well, especially right near Lake Michigan with that northeast wind. Now the system moving through tonight is much, much weaker than the storm we had over the weekend. But for most of us, it's going to produce higher snowfall totals. We've got a winter weather advisory up for all of Northeast Wisconsin for tonight, right into tomorrow morning. Skycast shows snow setting up shop across the area as we head throughout the evening hours. By midnight, you can see light to moderate snow falling just about everywhere. That'll continue throughout the night into tomorrow morning. Once again, a few bursts of heavier snow are possible from time to time. The snow will then taper off around noon, followed by a couple of snow showers and flurries as we make our way into the early afternoon, possibly even the early evening, especially near the shoreline of Lake Michigan. When all is said and done, most areas will end up with about four to seven inches. Now, we just went out and took a snowfall measurement. We picked up about a half an inch here at NBC 26, which means we're now less than an inch away from breaking the top three snowiest Februarys on record. And that also means we're probably only a couple hours away from having our snowiest February in 129 years. And we've got more snow on the way, not during February, but March. Skycast shows quiet weather on Thursday, sunshine Friday morning. Thickening clouds by the afternoon, more snow moving back in late Friday. That'll continue into early Saturday morning. Right now, based on the latest computer forecast models, it looks like several inches of snow is possible across northeast Wisconsin. And then behind that system, frigid air moves in by Saturday evening. It'll be here Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Temperatures running way below normal for this time of year. So, yeah, March is really coming in like a lion, maybe a pack of lions. 10 degrees tonight. So temperatures holding steady with snow. We'll see several inches across the area as we head throughout the night. A couple more inches possible tomorrow morning as snow tapers to flurries by the afternoon. Temperatures will be in the lower to mid 20s for highs. On Thursday, quiet with a mixture of sun and clouds. Look for a high right around 25 degrees. Sun and clouds early Friday giving way to clouds and then some more snow Friday evening into Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon breaking into a mixture of sun and clouds as much colder air begins to pour in from the north. Look at those highs once again for Sunday and Monday. Our normal highs next week actually climb up into the mid 30s. I mean, we're talking about 25 to 30 degrees below normal for this time of year. A harsh start to March, which is technically a spring month. <laughs> Not feeling like it, though. That looks more like January. Cameron. It really does. <laughs> Doesn't feel anything like spring. Five, certainly.